hello guys this is tabs and welcome to my youtube channel and today i want us to look into how to manually take a backup of our website and how to upload it back using ftp for some reasons you might get a brute attack your site might be broken you may not be able to access your website a lot of things happen like some guy told me on my YouTube channel, giving me comments that he got kicked out by his web hosting and they sent him his files and database and he doesn't know how to upload it. So that motivated me to share this video. Yeah, I have on my YouTube channel how to take a backup and restore your website with a plugin. But sometimes you just don't have those plugins and all you have is just your website files and database and you want to upload it back so so in this video i'm going to show you how to get that done step by step so right before my screen here is uh a a blog we'll be using this is daftutorials.ml i hosted this blog on infinity free and i want to show you exactly how we can manually take a backup of this website and also restore it back using ftp we have quite a handful of those ftp clients out there but i am very comfortable using filezilla and filezilla i think is the market leader if you have filezilla then that's fantastic let's roll together if you don't have filezilla on your laptop or on your system you may just want to go to your browser and type download filezilla you'll get a result like this and the first result definitely is where you should check out filezilla I think project.org slash download so as a matter of fact from your google screen you can easily pick up whatever version you want to if you're trying to install it for windows you see windows 64 bit windows 32 bit uh, depending on what your what your system is so you can check down you see for linux and also you can get it for for your mac uh, so in that sense so you, you can just download whatever version that is appropriate for your laptop uh, so once you get on the screen here you can just hit the download button or check whichever version is okay for you once you download this software run it like every normal software and if you do you should have an interface like this so this is what you should be having and this is what filezilla looks like and this is what we'll be using to do the manual backup of our website okay so i can close this back and then we're back here two things that make up a website is just your website files and also your website database so you want to make sure that you have those two things in place and if you want to take a backup of our website right now we are going to see how we are going to download the two files and these are the two things you'll be uploading and downloading for you to have access to your website if someone wants to sell you a website, for example, that person must give you your website files and your website database. If you don't have those two things, you don't have a website. So that's very important for you to note. So, so I'll show you exactly how to get access to our website files via FTP. Unfortunately, you will never be able to get access to your database via FTP. So you want to have access to your backend, to your database or make sure you have stored your database somewhere i'll show you in this video how to get both done and let's start with our website files okay first off we we'll have to connect to ftp so that we can have access to these files but basically if you have a control panel you can easily rush down there and inside your control panel you can search for ftp and once you search you should be able to see ftp accounts and if you click this you should be able to see an existing ftp account you have in case you don't have any you can you should be able to create one uh, if your web hosting gives you access to do that for infinity free since it's an old free hosting platform i have access to just one ftp client and you can see the details on my screen right now there are two basic ways you can connect to your server via your FTP. You can do the quick connect by just coming here, typing your host, put your username, your password, to your portal, and quick connect. Or you come here, you click here, and then you have the list of sites that you have already connected. If you are using it for the first time, then definitely it will be there. You can come here and click new site, then name your site, then put your details here, and you connect. So that way you can always come back here and connect over and over to that but i won't be using this method in this tutorial i just want to do the quick connect so basically let's get our host details and let us 
connect to our server so here is my username so the port is usually constant 21 and ideally your password is usually your cpanel password details for most hosting platform in case you don't have yours so we've been able to populate this with our details then let's hit the quick connect so on the far right here is your remote site and on the left is your local site which is your laptop and the right is your is definitely your website files and from here you have to know where your files are located for you to take your backup so for me with my hosting server my website files is in htdocs we can right click this folder and then since i'm already in the downloads area of my laptop i can just download this folder and this folder will be downloaded so i will have htdocs uh, folder in my downloads and which is cool for me so my website files is downloaded depending on how heavy your website is and how your files are is what will determine how long it will take so if you have a very huge big website you may need to give it time for it to download proper for it to totally download so while these files are downloading we can minimize this page and let it continue then we can come back to our control panel okay so this is where we want to look for mysql database so that we can download our database as well so from here you i have a section called database and you can search for your mysql database you can click this and from there go to your uh, database but for me i have my ph i have php my admin here so i can easily go to php my admin so in case you don't know which so for example right now i have three databases here so i really don't know which of the database is for which website that i have so the easy way for us to figure out which of the database is for which website so apparently i have three websites uh in this in this control panel so i can just come back here and go to my file manager okay so i can come to my ht docs and from there i can locate my wp config.php file so this is it here i can choose to edit this file for me to be able to see the content inside the wp config file so once this is opened uh just scrolling down a little i'll be able to see my database name which is epis 2533w30 w330 so this is my database name this is the username this is the password and this is the host so this way i'm able to f I, all i need to do is to look for this so i can come down to my php my admin and i think this is the website this is the database here 330 so i can connect now uh, this is my database these are all the tables i have stored on this website what we should do right now is for us to check all so once we check all we can easily come up here and click the export button uh, we'll see on our tab here export import so you can easily export these tables and you can see come down here and hit this drop down here and you see please for you to export so whichever way you can easily export all the tables so i just love to do the quick one and uh, let's export this table okay so now we are exporting table from this database which is okay we can leave it the way it is and make sure that your format is sql i prefer to leave it at sql uh, so that will be it will be easy for me to export back into my any new database i'm creating so that's good so all i'll eat is the go button and i can see that my database is already downloaded here and that's everything we need to do to download our database so let's come back to our wordpress files and let's check filezilla you can see that our, our download is still continuing that's good that's okay so let's give it time let's this is the good time for you to maybe take a cup of coffee or for you to stroll around or take a cup of tea if you like tea but we have successfully back up our wordpress files so now let's close this here's a database tables so let's come down and let's select all 
and what we can do with this is let's drop all the tables yeah do you want to execute this query so i have been able to delete the database the tables in the database so let me come back to my website and now let me refresh this uh wordpress installation it shows that this wordpress can't find that database anymore so let's come back to our control panel and this is our HD docs let me try to delete this uh, do you want to delete yes confirm okay we have been able to successfully delete our HD docs file uh, okay now let's come back to our website and let's try and refresh it again you see this is going to error <laughs> website cannot be found so it's as good as our website is completely deleted and we don't have anything so what we are going to do right now is that we are going to restore back those files and see if we can retrieve back our website what we'll do right now is to transfer uh downloaded files back so ideally if you have your wordpress file on your laptop you should be able to locate it here on your laptop and then click on it for me it's ht docs for you it could be anything uh, then i will right click and then i will upload back to the root folder please make sure it's at the root folder not in any other sub folder in the root so i'll upload this and depending again depending on how heavy your files are this could take a while and intermittently you could have issues like this i have a wordpress file like this and it's not the same i would like to override if the source is different then override if the source is different because i have the same files now i have the same file carrying the same name but they have different size so overwrite if the size is newer and then apply this to this current queue and click ok so our uh, wordpress files are installing to our server back so i'll close this and allow it and then we can come back to our database now we don't have anything here again when we tried to back up the last time what we did was that we will export our files so this time around we will be importing so we click the import button and now once we click that we'll have the option to choose a file that we want to upload back as database so we will choose the same backup files that we took earlier okay so i've got it here so i'll click this and then i would import it so i've got it here so all i would do is just scroll down and make sure the format is sql like we did it the other time then click the go button then our database should upload back as well so filezilla is still here so i'll give this time i'll pause this video and allow it to upload maybe another 30 minutes the file should be uploaded and then i'll back to come and wrap up this video okay welcome back after some minutes 30 minutes or more thereabouts we got our files installed so let's close uh ftp and now let's go back to our page and let's check i was redirected back to 404 so let me go back so beautiful we have our website back and everything seems to be working good okay that's it guys that's exactly how to manually take a backup of your website and restore your files uh install your website through your files is something very easy you just need to make sure you take an adequate backup and also upload those files upload your files upload your database thank you very much for watching this video if this video has been helpful give me a thumbs up if you have any question any issue you want to make you want to make some clarifications uh, you know what to do now eat them for me in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you and above all subscribe to this youtube channel that's the only way you get notified when i post more videos and that's the only way i get to grow this channel thank you very much for watching this video i hope to see you in my next video bye for now